Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove any part of your WordPress blog or website, that's wordpress.org, using custom CSS and using the inspect element tool in Chrome that you can find with a simple right click. That's me right clicking on the screen. I kid you not, you can remove any part of a site. I have turned huge busy websites into simple white pages and I've turned ugly things into pretty things. You can do it all using custom CSS. And that was the ice cubes in my soda melting. To start, you want to just think of an element you want to remove. And when you think of something you want to remove, the first place you should check is in Customize. If your theme has a Customize section, I'm just going to go there right now, then there might be a designated area to remove or change an element. For example, if we want to change our footer, we want to change this credit card logo or the copyright section there might be a section called footer where we can do exactly that without any sort of code so that's the easy way and the recommended way to make changes in customize and if you can't find that particular section in customize Maybe you can find it in theme options or theme settings or whatever area your theme came with. But even if you can change something in customize or in theme options or theme settings, you can also do it with custom CSS. So let's look at how to do that. The first thing you need is a custom CSS screen. Here I've written some custom CSS and I've written it in the TJ custom CSS plugin. To get this window set up and to have this window on your site, you just need to go to plugins add new, search for TJ custom CSS, and then make sure to click install now and click activate. Or you can just search for custom CSS and find one of the many other options. Clearly a lot of people like doing this. Once your plugin is installed, you should be able to find that window in appearance on the left, custom CSS. So what do we need to write in the screen to remove an element? Well, that's where this tutorial comes in. And I'll say it now, I'll say it a million times over, you need to get the spelling and the punctuation right. And you need to write stuff where it should be. Where it should be is just in white space. Like right here on line 26 or 27 or 28 is fine. As long as we don't disturb any existing CSS and write it in between the brackets or the text of some existing CSS, we're fine. And by the way, because CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, CSS at the bottom will override CSS above it. So let's go find an element we want to remove, like this credit card box in our footer. And to use Inspect Element, all you need to do is right click over that particular part of the website. That's me just right clicking. We can see if I right click in blank space, the menu looks a little different because no specific object is selected. But when we right click on something like this Facebook button, we can click inspect and we get the exact code for the Facebook button. Or we can right click on the credit card box and click inspect. Of course it helps to have a little knowledge of how CSS and HTML works, but I'll explain it to you right now. What we first need to understand is that this credit card box in the footer is just an image denoted by IMG. And its source is this link right here, which came with our theme. However, we don't want to target the image. We don't want to write CSS for the image right now. We want to write CSS for the div class that surrounds the image. That's this part, div class equals payment methods, followed by the closed div. Think of this like one little chunk or one little parking space in a huge parking lot that you're just going to remove or delete. To delete it, we need to remember the class name. And in our case, the theme assigned the class name of payment underscore methods right here. Of course, a different class name, which would be media four columns, applies to a different larger section, which might also work for our purposes. But the idea here is to target one specific section and to do it um, specifically if that makes sense. So what we need to do now is make sure we have the right div 
on the right hand side you can check what's working on the div which is this text line you can remove the text line and then select it and if you can move an object around you can remove it notice how on the right hand side too when I select a different div class like the whole footer copyright the styles affecting it come up different because it's a whole different set of styles so there's this particular set of styles right here we see for this div and the styles will change if I click this one they'll change if I click this one and they'll change if I click this one and the first style affecting our object the credit card box comes at the top right here and that would be this text line left this is just to give you a feel of which CSS applies to what part of the site and what part of the HTML so all we need to do is click on dot payment methods because we know that payment methods is the area we want to focus on it refers to this credit card box and because we know that the class is payment underscore methods what I like doing is copying that right from the styles area and then coming back to the CSS whether we put this at the top of our CSS or in the middle or below does not matter as long as we don't interfere with other CSS I can just right click paste alright and that period there exists because it's a class whenever you see div class you need to write a period to target the specific area if instead it says div ID equals something something then you need to write the pound sign right here but because it's class we can select it with a period now just follow with me and write open bracket display colon none semicolon enter close bracket and the reason I know how to write this is just because I know CSS if you take any CSS course they'll teach you that this is the right way to write it when you start a CSS you have the selector as this is called and then you have the command and then you have whatever it's doing which in this case is none now if we click save and refresh the site we can come down and see that the credit card box is gone and if you look at the styles on the right you can see that the website and the inspect tool picked up the CSS we just wrote of course we can toggle that on and off as well pretty cool this display none property is pretty useful I've used it in several of the websites I've built and it's a real lifesaver if you just need to remove one part of the website quickly without of course deleting any chunks of the website and in a way that lets you bring it back if you want you can find more information on display none in the web and if you go to W3 schools you'll see that display is actually a whole property with other options too along with none you get inline where you could use inline to make a whole bunch of paragraphs or links display in a line or inline instead of vertically but that's a little bit more complicated and out of the scope of this tutorial in any case check it out and learn as much as you can That's how to remove any part of your website using CSS and using the inspect element tool available in Chrome. Make sure you're building your website in Chrome, the free browser from Google. Try it out. Like I said, make sure to learn as much as you can and never stop learning. And of course, ask any questions for me in the comments. We can see we can also apply that to other parts of the site that you might not want to apply it to, like the logo. You just need to find the right selector. In this case, it might be site branding or it might be site logo. And then write it into the CSS, like dot site logo. Display, none. And believe me, it does get quicker and easier as you write more and more and you practice every day. Not sure you'd want to delete a logo on a website, but 
If you did, that's how to do it. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.